I've been on I've been on both sides of the table when it comes to um, to, to medicine. I've been both the, the physician as well as the family member looking after a patient as well as a patient themselves. And you know, I understand what it's like uh, to be there. And I understand all of the, uh, not maybe not all the emotions, but certainly I understand a lot of the emotions that's going on. And I myself would know what I would want um, from a physician to, to talk with me or my family as well. I, I relate to individuals and what they're going through. I may not have gone through the exact same experience, but certainly very similar experiences. And I think that that's valuable to not lose sight of. There was a young mother that came into the hospital. She came in in a very extreme condition. And essentially, she was in such a severe coma that her appearance was that of someone that had died. And the only thing keeping her alive was the ventilator. And we were able to treat her. And ultimately, this woman walked out of the hospital. Um, and is currently doing really well. And I have framed in my office a note from her little daughter saying, you know, essentially, thank you for saving my mommy's life. And in the same frame, a note from her saying, thank you for allowing me to celebrate the first birthday of, uh, of my little girl. So that, uh, in neurosurgery in general, and even more specifically in the areas in which I have a strong interest in, uh, patients and their families are in the middle of essentially a crisis, one of the worst times of their life. And uh, if I can alter the course, the natural course of that person's condition for the better, and while doing so, make that person um, and their family have at least a better understanding and have a somewhat of, a, of an easier time with that, I consider myself fortunate. I, I consider myself that is that is what I'm doing for that person. That's the real reasons to what we do.